I will admit, stiff wear. Wear. Talk to the curls. Keeping up a cool top to not to what it do. So today's video, I am going to show you one of my favorite things to do to my 4C hair, which is a protein treatment. I've been doing these for a minute now, and I can see that it has been helping a lot. I make my own DIY protein um, treatment just because I feel like it has more benefits and I can actually know what's going into my hair. And like products are already made that can say they have stuff in it that you know might or not might not be good for your hair because who knows all them big words on them packages because I don't and I so I just like to do my own and stuff like that so without any further ado make sure to like comment and subscribe and let's get into it so this is all the ingredients we're gonna need so this is what I like to use in mine and what I've seen that helps I use honey honey helps to um, seal in moisture and condition your hair so all these measurements are like just to to what I like I have a lot of hair and my hair is really thick so I try to um I'm running out of honey y'all so I try to make more than less because I hate going in and trying to get more out but anyway yeah eggs. I use at least two things of eggs straight off the I use eggs help to um, make sure that your hair is smooth, shiny, and it helps to promote the growth as well because you know eggs are high in protein. Then I go in with some olive oil. I don't, the oil kind of depends. If you put a lot and like you wash it out, your hair is going to be pretty oily, but I kind of guesstimate it. I have a lot of hair, so like I said. Then I go in with my actual wild growth hair serum. This is the truth, the way, and the life. Y'all get in tune for real. I'm literally running out, so if I get any, that is a blessing. Okay, once that's done, I go in with yogurt. Yogurt helps to promote your hair health, your hair health, and as well as um, uh, make sure that your hair has nutrients. So I just put a good amount of yogurt in it. As y'all can see, the mixture don't look cute, but let me tell y'all, this bitch be working. I mean, it be working. Now I go with mayo. Some people don't put mayo, but I love putting mayo just because mayo helps to give your hair that nourishment that is missing. So I put maybe like two, three of them. Mayo stank though. So that's a good amount. Once that's all good and dandy, like I said. Um, my last thing I put is avocados. Even though I eat avocado on a daily basis, avocado is such a good thing to put in your hair. So I'll probably put a good one or two of these in here. That's stuff like that. So that is all the things I put. Some people I know put banan bananas, but um, if you put bananas, bananas leave flex in your hair, which I don't like at all. So this is what the mixture should kind of look like at the end of the day. It looks nasty. And then all you do, I just blend it up and then I put it in here. So I see y'all when I'm back in my bathroom. This is what the mixture looks like. Not too thick, but not too runny. So which is pretty good and what comes to my liking. So now on to the application process. Okay, so we're back in the bathroom how to do the application process and things of that nature. So make sure things, you have a towel because this gets messy. Um, I had a wig on, so my hair is kind of in some doodle cornrows. So please. <laughs> what is that? Oh shit, what is that? But I think um, the best way to do it, it's kind of in cornrows, or not cornrows, but like, say you did a twist out or something, just because your hair is already mostly majority sectioned and everything. Oh, oh, he he needs some milk! But make sure that your hair um, is already, you know, just like parted and everything. So what I like to do, you know, 
I'm brave money. Hey y'all, so I'm sorry to say that my camera has been like, I don't know what happened, kind of just malfunctioned. So like all the footage I had before got deleted. So as you can see, I'm sorry about that, but as you can see, I have put some product in my hair. I still got, I think, three in the back, so we're almost done. But I'm sorry for losing the footage. <laughs> it sucks. But I think it's starting to work a little more. But we're just going to continue and I'm going to show you guys how I, you know, do it if I started the, um, the whole application process. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I do it from the back side. So, hopefully, I take a generous amount. Hopefully, you guys can see I'm working with this little section right here. And I kind of just put it all throughout my hair. Like I said, make sure you get your roots, your ends and all that and try to massage it into your scalp to really promote you know help um, hair growth and as well as hair health because that's what we're doing this treatment for we're trying to we're trying to get right before we get left but anyway I'm just you know putting this on as I'm putting it in I'm trying to finger detangle and such so um what's it call it um it's easier and it's not snags because you don't want snags. But as you put this throughout, it actually does not um um tangle like that. So this is where we are at right now. You want to massage all of that into your hair. Give your hair a nice lengthy massage just to get stimulate blood flow. Get that um what's it call it? Your hair follicles wake them up and stuff of that nature. I hope each part is nice and moisturized for the kid and stuff like that. Make sure you get your scalp as well. Like throughout the whole um, application, make sure you are getting your scalp because that's what we want. But as you can see, this is my hair. This is my hair post-treatment. You can see my actual curls when it doesn't want to be four seed but um, look at that movement stiff wear wear talk to the curls so i'm sorry about what happened to my laptop my com camera but this is the finished product as you can see as you can foresee that um i have my hair and its curls are all in its little natural state it looks good we love to see it but using this helps to you know promote hair growth, promote um, kind of treating um, and manipulating your hair as well, and just you know overall just helping your hair to grow and stuff like that. But if you use this, I foresee that there will be moisture retention, volume, shine in your hair. So I will come back in a couple hours to show you guys the finished product. Ooh. Stiff wear. <laughs> Excuse me. So we are all done. I just got out the shower and literally um, this is what my hair looks like. It's kind of crazy, but yes, I haven't picked it out. I need to. I've been just moving my hand trying to volumize it, but yes, honey. Get into it. My hair feels so soft. Like it makes literally no sense, but yeah. Stiff wear. I want my hair back and forth. But yeah, so I'm about to go in and put some products and I'll be back with the little, you know, I'll probably put my hair up. Because I need to stretch it out a little bit before I try to wear it down. But yeah. I look like Hey Arnold. <laughs> but no, but this is what my hair looks like. Um, so I'll be back to show you guys a little cute hairstyle or whatnot. But besides that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Okay y'all, so I just did a little slick back for you guys, something very slight, very easy. So, um, you know, because I got to stretch on my hair, do some stuff with my hair real quick, but this is slick back, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Like, comment, subscribe, period.